Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, good morning. It's the uh, Thursday, the 16th. Ah, I got my pedometer off. Already uh, mowed the front and backyards. I'll go work on the pool here in just a little bit. But I wanted to uh, offer some more unsolicited advice to some of the um, women who kind of stalk this channel. <laughs> there are... A few things that um, a, a woman can do that is probably emasculating or a giant slap in the face to do to a man that I just don't think women understand. So here it is. One thing off the top is for you as a woman to try to introduce the man in your life to a guy you used to have sex with. That has to be, in my opinion, the ultimate insult. And you do it in front of my face. So to me, that's definitely an extremely difficult thing to get over. It, it is extremely upsetting. So uh, I don't want to play with somebody else's toys. I, I don't want to just... You better not do it, ladies. <laughs> and if you do it, you're trying to emasculate the guy you're with. And and if you don't think it's a big deal, then you don't know shit about men. <laughs> oh, yeah, I used to date him back in the day. <laughs> now, we're saying, ah, oh, he used to fuck that guy. Ah, oh, okay. Geez, thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right. The other thing is... Uh, <sighs> In order for us to have a conversation with you, you can't keep interrupting or what I call ambushing a conversation. If you're not going to listen to what I say and you automatically decide in your mind that you have to interrupt me to say something, that means you really don't have a lot of respect for me. That means that you don't need to be bothered with actually listening to what I'm saying. Because you already know that is a terrible, terrible way to go through life and pisses guys off. Here's another thing. I don't fucking like waiting for you. You don't get the right to make us wait. And if you keep making us wait, we're going to just go do it without you. And I'm not talking five minutes here. Maximum six, eight minutes. You may try to make me wait any longer than that. I'm thinking of reasons why. Why the fuck do I have to put up with this? Now, listen to me. I understand that a lot of you women really understand how a man operates. If you are trying to bring status to me, that is very important to a man. And you can't bring me status if you're introducing me to somebody who you used to fuck. You can't bring me status, especially if we're in public and you're interrupting me and, and you're trying to tell me that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about or I don't know this or I don't do that or don't do this or don't do that. Um, there And then the waiting game. Uh, I understand you've got to look your best when you go out, but really, really, it's going to take you, what, half an hour, 45 minutes to get ready? And then you think that that's okay? <laughs> You're gonna get left behind. <laughs> so I don't, and I'm not, and I'm not bashing on you, ladies. There are hundreds, of millions of us out there who want to have a good woman in our lives, but I don't want a modern one. I could have dated an American girl of any race and ethnicity. I've never been. Um, it's never bothered me. The the culture or the ethnicity of the person I'm involved with, that never has bothered me. Uh, what has bothered me is if a woman believes that she's all that in a bag of chips, uh, like there aren't more of you women on planet Earth than there are guys. Um, here's another thing. If, you, if, you, if a woman wants to have you in her life, she's going to go through anything you have on social media. She feels she has a right to go through your phone, 
go through your letters, go through everything you own. She has the right to go through it because um, if she decides to hang out with you or be your girl, she has to know if you got any surprises coming for her. That's just, it's ridiculous. It's unnecessary, but uh, it's just the way I think women are hardwired. Here's another thing. This is one's for you guys. If you do not think your girl or the girls in your life talk about you in all kinds of aspects, you're terribly wrong. <laughs> so listen, listen, ladies, we want to make peace, but you can't make peace with crazy people. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I cannot tell you how many women I dated to find my wife. I cannot tell you how many women I've dated to find my wife. And uh, my wife and I have had problems just like any other couple, but we have decided to work them out. Uh, to be honest, my personal problem is uh, drinking. So I have to extremely correct that. I have to do, go to extreme, I almost said extremes. I have to go to extremes to do that. That's me. That's my self-discipline that I have to work on. But it is what it is. Just wanted to, uh, ladies, we want to make peace with them. But no one wants a crazy lady in their lives. We've had them all our lives anyway. They're sisters and aunts, the crazy aunt. Well, nah. Anyways, uh, stay safe and healthy, gentlemen. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, you have to take care of yourself. You're very important. Whether whether you believe it or not, you are extremely important and in our future. And I want you to kind of keep an eye on uh, what's going on over in the Ukraine because uh, that president there just asked us, the United States, to send troops. Fuck that. I've had enough of war. I don't want, I can tell you this, and this is in regards to war. War now is fought on what's called an industrial scale. The amount of people that are being literally slaughtered, and including they're using how to use drones as killing machines. There's no way. We, no way. We spent 20 years in the Middle East for what? We still got some uh, SF guys running around in Syria for what? Why? There's no reason for us to be there. So anything, <clears throat> anyways, like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.